Hi guys, we're down at Bewley and this is simply British Classics. Have a look around at the cars that have turned up. You've got your, as you would expect to see, your beautiful minis, but look behind here. Come with me, Sam. When was the last time you saw a collection of Rolls Royces like that? Look how gorgeous they are. Look at the vintage ones at the back, just lovely. You have to wonder what really happened to the British car industry when we were making fabulous things like all of this. You've got lovely Jaguars, Alvis, next to a Mini. Beautiful MG saloon. Next to a stag, next to an MG, that's what you would expect to see when you think of an MG. Such variety. Now, if we head up this way, have a look over there, Sam. One of two Marcuses that are here. When was the last time you were able to stand at a car show and look over and see one Marcus while walking towards another? One of my favourite cars, the old Escort, such fun. Front engine, rear drive. Esprit. Come on. British classics here at Bewley really is just. Oh. Hello, chap. How are you? I'm really sorry to interrupt you really, really quickly. <laughs> right. You've just restored this, right? No, no, it's all original. All original? All original. Original paint, original engine. Original wow, I thought, you said, I thought you'd restored this no, one. No, no, So we're a restoration company, but this is one of the Brock Boss's private collection. Is it? Yes. Well, there you are. I got it completely wrong. Sam, edit that out. So I said it was restored. <laughs> it's not. It's fully original. Yeah, there you we are. We maintained it for the past 14 years. Wow. Well, thank you very much for bringing it to British right. Classics. We'll catch up with you again. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Come on, let's go and have a look around here, shall we? Look at this lovely Austin here. You get to see even more of these glorious British marks that were once were so commonplace, but are now just not. Sad, really, isn't it, when you think? All the ingenuity and... Look over here. These lot all came in in convoy and they looked absolutely super beautiful rover. Two of them sat next to each other. That one with the good old rover, three and a half litre V8 in it. Now, come over this way, Sam. These lovely Austins, come here. If you're looking here, that there. I'd say accelerator. <laughs> if you look straight down, you can see the vent. Literally straight out. Look at the tyres, they're so thin and delicate. Almost like bicycle tyres, aren't they? I'm making Sam Ehrman his keep here. He's going to have to work hard on stabilising all this, but I want to show you so much. If you've not been to Bewley's British Classic show, it's really worth coming to. Because there's something a bit different here. Quite a lot different, actually. See some really lovely, rare stuff. When people think of British Classics, they think of all of the, you know, stereotypical stuff that you might expect to see. And don't get me wrong, it's beautiful to see the Morris Miners, the MGs, the Minis, the Land Rovers and so forth. They're all iconic British marks and models. But then you get something like that, the Bond Bug. Most of those were in orange. I'm pretty sure that's one of only six that were in white. That's what I mean. Such rare stuff here, beautiful stags. All of them sounded glorious coming in. And the lovely Morrises to finish soft. So that's Simply Classics here at Bewley. If you didn't make it down to this year's show, then make sure you put it in your diary for next year because there really is pretty much a classic for everyone.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Simply British Classics Award Ceremony. Now, I'm going to I'm going to start with you, sir, in this glorious Jensen 541, because you were in the final last year. Not only were you in the final last year, you won last year. We did. We were very proud to win last year. I mean, this is a fabulous, fabulous car. The only time I have seen one of these is here, last year. Well, we brought it back to show it to you again, Tim. Was this, didn't you rescue this from a field in Italy? Yes, so it, it was uh, rescued from a, a farmyard in Bristol. It went to Italy, and we then went and got it back from Italy. So it went on a big round trip before we got it and then spent seven years restoring it. And it didn't look anything like this? Uh, no, no. It, uh, it was a complete wreck, shall we say. And am I right in saying, I can't remember now, this got, is it fibreglass panels on it? Yeah, the whole car uh, bodywork is fibreglass, except for a couple of small panels, like the door panels are aluminium, but all the bodywork is, is fibreglass. It's absolutely glorious. I'm so glad to see it back here. I have to ask, though, cleaning those wheels must be a nightmare. No, no, I just asked my wife to do it. <laughs> And on that note, I'm going to move on to you. Hello there, how are you? Fine, thank you. Now, the Mini is one of my all-time favourite cars. And this right. one is a glorious edition, designer edition, with these wonderful seats. Yes. Tell me a little bit more about this. What year is it? How long have uh, you had it? We've had it about three years. It's 1988. It was um, one local owner, um, a gentleman, and it's from Highcliffe, so it's completely local. Fantastic. Yeah. So a local car, local car at the local really show. Local. And we're local as well. I didn't see it at the show. Did you come last year? No. No, so that's why I didn't recognise it. But my favourite thing about this, apart from the seat? Garfield. Garfield. Yes. 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 Everyone loves Garfield, right? This is an interesting... I'm going to say car, even though you're missing a wheel. Yeah. We've had it since February. We've had to do a complete restoration, strip the engine down. We're just hoping to paint it next year. Um, yeah. Usually... If, if memory serves me right, these are usually orange, aren't they? Um, yeah, this is one of the rare white ones. It was used to promote Rothman cigarettes in the 70s. Oh, that's cool. Does it still have that cigarette smell inside? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I that's so. very cool. That's very cool. I think you should get like the whole Rothman's livery yeah, on a there. A little bit on the back, yeah. We've got some Rothman's. Stuff. Fantastic. Am I right in saying there's like six of these? Yeah, there were the six, six white ones. Yeah, there were six white ones. I think there's about three left. Yeah. Wow. So we've got one of three left. There can't be many designers left on the road. I think there's about 86. 86. And how many of these? Not that many, but in, in the 40 or 50, maybe. 40 or 50. So three very rare cars. I have to say, ladies and gents, you've got fantastic choice for choosing these top three. So can I please ask you to put your hands together for our top three? So, the first of our runners-up, ladies and gentlemen, here at Simply British Classics 2023 is... The Mini. Well done to you. You're still going home with a certificate and also a fabulous prize from Autogone, which is presented by Rachel. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the first of our runners-up. We'll get a couple of pictures as well. Of course, all of this will be shared on social. If you're not following Bewley on social, please do, because you'll get updates of all the future events. Now, the next runner-up here at Simply British Classics at Bewley is... I'm sorry, you're not a two-time winner. You're the next runner-up, but I tell you what, you won last year. Well done you. to you, and you are still going home with a fantastic prize from Autoglim. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your next runner-up, uh, Jensen 541. Which means I have the pleasure of telling you that the People's Choice Award winner here at Simply British Classics at Bewley 2023 is it's you guys, the Bond Bog. Ladies and gents, put your hands together. Well done. Are you pleased? Yeah. Yeah? Can you believe it? Uh, I didn't expect it to win because we were here last year with the Morris Minor. Well, you've come in the right, I'll say car, you've come in the right car this time because you're going home with the People's Choice Award trophy. Take a look at this. There you are, young man. Make sure you hand that over to mom and dad at some point, yeah? And you've also got a wonderful prize from Autoglib and a certificate as well. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please ask you to put your hands together for your winner, your People's Choice Award winner, the Bond Bug.